Hello, we are back on the second day in Bermuda. Today raining, so we took a free tour from hotel, the ferry. We ordered breakfast delivery to last night and the food delivery at 7 o'clock, which is the time we pick. I really like the tiny the I don't know what to call. They have tomato sauce, the ketchup, okay, and the jelly set. And these are our breakfast. In fact, we order the same thing, just different sausages and ham. Ham for me and sausages for him. Okay. I am showing you this because I really like the tiny bottle ketchup here. I would like to get this at home but never seen. And also this jelly set jar. So cute. After breakfast, we still have time before go down to the shadow spots and ready to go to furry he is sitting at the balcony chilling rain and the wind a little bit cold from here just for me cold because he never feel cold but good he like cold weather and 30 we got at the dock it is a hotel private dock and also we came here in the evening one night for dinner you will see the restaurant on that day please coming back okay and as you see a little bit wet and no sun at all. I don't have many pictures back home. I made a picture myself because he did not like to take photo of me just taking around. <laughs> okay. And we cannot get in the boat yet. I need to wait for captain. As you see here, you might doubt where are people? Yes, there are people. Just only we walk ahead of them, and later on, other people came because the furry will start at night. We came early. Okay, now you see more people and still more coming. We are on the boat now. I prepare a cap and a jacket because I know it's gonna be cold for me. Here we are at Helmington and the first thing we're gonna check at visitor center asking for the direction and where to get the bus token as we decided to 
take the bus back to the hotel instead of come back to the ferry. I like this bench. Look nice as art. And as you see, many people on the board with us carried an umbrella. That's from hotel room. I think the hotel uh, manage very well and they know the weather better than us, right? We are headed to the public bathroom first thing. I would like to use the bathroom. There are many public bathrooms provided along as you see here. And when we walk to the museum, we saw the sign, bathroom sign. So that's what I know. They provided the bathroom around so easy to find and there are scooter is popular vehicle here I see many people using scooter for the regularly basis lifestyle here and also scooter rental for tourists and bicycle as well but I haven't seen bicycle much on the day we were on the island. There are many cars which is make traffic on the day we were there. Tiny town with many cars that remind me to Bangkok, Thailand where I came from. But Bangkok is much bigger than the island anyway. The guy on the board telling that every house can own only one car each and if any houses would like to get more than one car, they must separate the lock or the room to be an apartment to get another car. I, I cannot understand quite well but something about that if you interested want to know more I think you know how to look for the information right and we walk past Thai massage he pointed to me at first I thought he pointed to the custom office at the right hand we just passed by that I think the custom pier for the goods overseas I guess because it looks like one in Bangkok too we call Khong Tui Pier and here we are at the museum underwater I was enjoying the activity which I didn't recording the video to show you here there is the how to say the research tank visitor get in the tank and watch tv for i think five or seven minutes only and then the documentary talking about what happened in the Bermuda triangle and then the effect in the room kind of checking tank so we can feel a little bit what's going on when underwater and when the wave coming to the tank somehow and this is the tank underwater and also the chair in the tank i don't know if you see in that okay i think see a little bit and when cut the tank open look like this one very very heavy metal and the guy sitting in that tank. I didn't read the information because that too many for me to read. And also this 
railroad was built it before the metal tank. A guy sitting in the the barrel and go underwater. That interesting, right? This is the stimulation, right? I guess I used the right words. Imagine that you in this cage and go down to the bottom ocean and the shark all around you. That is an effect at this point. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> This show how sink of the human head when stay deep down underwater from this side to next next and to the last one and also there are many things show as you see the very old stuff I don't know what that came from maybe people discover or it's from the cheap I didn't read the information, I'm so sorry. And this is the metal cheese. I think about pirate. <laughs> After the museum, we walk back into town looking for somewhere to eat. There are many restaurants as well. And we decided to turn into the tiny street and pick easy restaurant. The name is Street Food. We used American US dollars along our trip. I order grill fish and chips and he order fry fish and chips I like the fish but I don't like the chips too oily the small restaurant as you look here doesn't have many people but many came along and this is the first mall builder build we got from the chain he keep it for seven years because I keep asking him to use it but he said no I want to keep it as it keeps <laughs> okay looking for the map where we gonna go because we need to walk to bus station center and took the bus number eight back to hotel so we walk through the other end of the street and came to here no restaurant just shopping department shopping store wow they have many many of clothing and brand name stuff for Thai people <laughs> I think about Thai people because many Thai love to use brand name and spend much money but not me I like what I like and not pay much because I don't have much money to spend for this kind of thing anyway we keep walking to the end and then decide where to go At the front is the post office and we walk to the right and this is a city hall and then not far from city hall 
our destination, the bus station center here. We will get the bus number 8 back to the hotel. That's what we knew from the hotel people and the guy on the boat. We walked through the what to sort about the counter. Okay, we walked to the counter, get our token. The bus fare was 475 each person to go back to the hotel. And then we get tokens, one each. Okay, get on the bus. Put the token into a jar, a bottle. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, a jar maybe. And we had no idea where we're gonna get off, just keep looking. It took about at least 30 minutes or 40 minutes to get to the hotel. So we get off the bus at the dock area where we took the ferry and call to get shadows from the hotel pick up us. Here we back to the hotel. I really like and enjoy staying at this hotel. Comfortable, nice, clean, and good service. We stop at a coffee shop. My friend get coffee. Myself get muffin, banana and chocolate in pecan muffin Waiting for coffee and muffin a little bit I like this corner long bench to sit and now back in the room we spent the time since seven o'clock had breakfast in the room and 8 30 we went to the dog to a furry tour and get to Hamilton had lunch and then took a bus back at the time here to 28 so the weather outside looks nice, a little bit bright, and I taste my muffin. The taste is simple, nothing special. The cost of it is three seventy-five each. Okay. Dinner time. This is another restaurant in the hotel. Okay, what is this? Uh, olive something, olive mushroom, uh, uh, and garlic bread. Nah. Okay, try. In our regular basis, we haven't eat at this kind of restaurant often, just other general restaurants. So we tasted every food they serve us in this hotel. The taste not mm, familiar, but I can eat. He can eat. Okay, and. This bread is very soft. I like it. And this look like butter, but not butter. The taste as olive oil and olive mix. So 
a little bit sour and oily. And then the food served. He ordered steak, which he liked it very much. That would cost about $42, I guess. And then my saute mushroom, $9. And chicken kebab is $12. So each meal in this hotel, we spend between $80 to $100 each meal for both of us, which is a little high cost than what we spend daily at home. So once in a while for vacation, he said, okay. And this is our second day. Let me finish my food and come back again tomorrow, okay? Bye!